All right, it's day eight, and uh, Whiskey Advent Calendar, they did it again, I told you. Remember when I said they keep giving me things that I already know I love and are some of my default favorites, and so it's really hard to say new things about Lagavulin 16. I mean, what is there to say that hasn't already been said? Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do you a favor. You can thank me later by sending me some whiskey to drink. <clears throat> if you haven't gone on YouTube and watched all of the Nick Offerman videos promoting Lagavulin, you have not yet lived. As a matter of fact, one of the greatest videos he ever did, in my opinion, uh, was when he shot a video of himself sitting in a chair for 45 minutes drinking Lagavulin. No words, no interaction, just Nick Offerman sitting in a chair drinking Lagavulin for 45 minutes. Now, when that first came out, I uh, put that on in the background at Christmas and I drank with Nick Offerman like four times. And it's kind of fun. And it was so fun, it inspired me to do sort of uh, an homage version of my own. And I'll link to it in this video. But I also did a drinking whiskey with Daniel Whittington that was just a blatant ripoff of the Nick Offerman video because I thought it was so funny and entertaining. And uh, because why the fuck not? So um, mine, though, I drink six different whiskeys uh, about five minutes each. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. Click on the link if you have you know, an hour to kill. Um, and really, it's just meant for you to sit and drink whiskey with me. So Lagavulin 16, the beautiful, rich, salt, sweet, peated Isla with a hint of mint on the end. Now, that's the one thing most people don't realize about Lagavulin. If you're used to a heavy, smoky whiskey, the magical uh, difference in Lagavulin 16 is that the very end of your sip just when it gets most rich and complicated, it sort of lifts off and vanishes. And I interpret that to a sort of minty sensation. It leaves your tongue kind of cool, and it just, so it's, it's hard to describe, but you take a sip, it's rich, complicated, at the end it just goes whew, and lifts up, as if on angel's wings. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. All right, well, to keep it interesting for you guys, just so you know, unbeknownst to you, while I've been shooting these videos, I've got a buddy who is sitting just over here drinking whatever I'm not drinking. And, uh, and he just lectured me about how I'm drinking too much <laughs> of these whiskeys and not leaving enough for him to try. And so... Stop it. I, <laughs> Stop it. So I have a response for this. <laughs> And there, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, that's all you're ever gonna see of Rex, because if we put Rex on camera, I no longer look as pretty. That's what happens when you don't have hair. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well guys, come on. What is there to say about Lagavulin? There's nothing. It's a damn fine whiskey. Um, it may be one of the best ever made. And, uh, and particularly in the winter when it's cold and wet outside like it is here in Austin, Texas right now, it's probably the first thing I would pick to drink um, before I moved on to other things. So... It's a short one today because there's no way to be insightful about something like this. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.